as a leader, you understand how critical your role is as communicator. Your team members and your organization take the cues from you. Whether you give positive reinforcement or helpful criticism, communicate change or long-term direction, what and how you communicate has impact. Then how can you maximize the effectiveness of your communication to induce action? Hello, this is Pierre Bienvenue from IMPI. We are here to help remove anxiety from leadership as they gain greater clarity and control. Within Walking Distance is a series giving tips, tools and reflections for leadership. If you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the links relevant to this video that you will find in the description box below. MP. So, let's answer the question. How can you maximize the effectiveness of your communication to induce action? In this episode, I want to introduce to you a simple communication method that works well for me and my clients to communicate impeding change in the organization. And we know it is essential to communicate as early as reasonably possible the change to the people who are being affected. This is part of developing good relations in the workplace. We want to alleviate uncertainty whenever possible. Now, the method is called Cuba, K-U-B-A. Cuba refers to a four-step process everyone can use to make the communication more effective and influential. The K stands for no. The U is understand. The B is believe. And finally, the A is action. No. First, people need to know what the core message is or what they are being asked to do as clearly and specifically as possible. No answers the question, what is the change? Those are the facts. Understand, one characteristic of clear communicators is that they provide a solid context, helping people to understand why action is necessary. Understand answers the question, why do we need to change? That's the rational. Believe. With information and context now provided, people need to believe in the value of what you are asking them to do. And they need to believe they can accomplish it. Believe answers the question, what is the need for me? Those are the benefits to the person affected by the change. Lastly, act. Only when people know understand and believe will they act. This is the call to action. So Cuba is easy to remember and apply in many situations at work, but also in your private life. Whether you want to communicate changes in the daily course of business or big impact strategic changes, use Cuba. Take a moment and think through the Cuba process and the intention of your communication. Do so for, from the receiver's perspective, as well as your own. Okay, let's wrap up. Cuba is a four-step process everyone can use to make their communication more effective and influential. No answers the question, what is the change? Understand answers the, why do we need the change? Believe answers, what is in it for me? And act is the call for action. There are three key ingredients to successful change. Communication, communication, communication. Now, Cuba is another useful tool in your change management toolbox. And when you communicate early and well as a leader, you exercise respect in action. And this is the good quote for this episode. George Bernard Shaw wrote, the single biggest problem in communication is the illusion that it has taken place. Isn't this beautiful? If you are one of the first three people able to identify the location of this view, 
you can meet with me for a free hour of leadership coaching. Just write the location in the comment section and send me an email at wwd at impi.solutions. Here is a clue. From this view, we are in a national park, two hours drive from the Southern African Large Telescope, and man, it's cold. Also, you may have a need to improve on your leadership skills, turn them into good habits, or you need support to transform your organization. I can help you. Feel free to connect. I'll be posting the next episode in two weeks. In the meantime, communicate to lead well.